Are we live on TikTok? All right, cool. We're going live everywhere. One second, King J. We're almost there. All right, we're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Instagram. We are recording everywhere. And EJ is going live on TikTok in one moment. Uh oh, they getting started. They getting started. Somebody about to win some money. The ache of land today. King J, this is your show, baby. Happy credit to Cash Flow Wednesdays right here at the legendary Legacy Center, the Tulsa Real Estate Fund Legacy Center, the Black House. I need everybody in the crowd to repeat after me. Thoughts, Thoughts become, become things. things. Listen, manifesting our thoughts is one of the most godly things that we can do. It's to literally think of a thing and manifest and produce it. Just 60 days ago, we thought of this idea of a financial literacy game show. For those who don't know, my name is Jay Morrison, by the way. I'm the co-founder of this building. I'm the co-founder of Credit to Cash Flow, this partnership, my partner, King Energy. And um, I'm a financial literacy revolutionary. I'm a financial literacy pioneer. I'm a real estate pioneer. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy. I'm a man of God. I'm a servant of the people. And in 2012, um, after becoming a millionaire by 27 years old, after being in the streets for 10 years as a dope boy, from 15 to 25 years old, after dropping out of high school at 15, 16 years old, uh, becoming a three-time felon by 21 years old, teenage dad at 19 years old, after surviving attempted murder before I was even born, my mom 17 years old on the abortion table. Through all that testimony in 2012, bouncing back from being a millionaire, going bankrupt, going broke, car repoed, building my brand back up, building my career back up, I started working at Sotheby's International Realty, the world's leading luxury real estate company. And Sotheby's picked me up in Alpine, New Jersey, which was America's richest zip code. So can you imagine that? A three-time felon, no college education, former dope boy, teenage dad, trapper, corner boy, survived attempted murder, high school dropout, welfare kid, Section 8 kid, all that, Got divorced in 2010, divorcee, bankruptcy, all that hired by the world's leading real estate company, Sotheby's International Realty. And I was the first black man hired by the prominent property franchise in Fort Lee, New Jersey. These are facts. My life is that special. I'm that favored. Like mine ain't a made-up Instagram thing. It's my real life. So imagine the former dope boy with no college education working for one of the largest luxury real estate companies in the world as the first black man hired by the franchise. And then I submit an audition to NBC to be a celebrity realtor, and NBC picks me up as a celebrity realtor on NBC's open house, NYC. As fate may have it, I do a few episodes on NBC open house, and the Today Show emails me and says, hey, I'm from the Today Show. Can you do live TV? What can I do? Sure. <laughs> I've never did live TV a day of my life. Yeah, I got it. And I found myself going on a Today Show on NBC in front of 30 million viewers live on TV. While I'm living in foreclosure, coming out of a bankruptcy and a divorce. I had three suits, a gray suit, a blue one, and a black one, and a bunch of ties. And some cool socks. I switched them things up. This is my real life. When my mom was on that abortion table, she said doctors came in five times. She counted back and forth while she's laying on the table with the gown on. And she said something said, get off the table. Your son's going to impact nations. And I stand here before you in the first black house that we produced, 
the first of many to come, I prophesy, I tell you, I project, the first of many to come. I stand here before you on land and ground we prayed over, a black house in Black Mecca, 30,000 square feet on 2.6 acres, two miles from Tyler Perry Studio, seven minutes from the world's busiest airport. Come on, come on, come on. My God. Big old God. Developed by a real estate fund with over 15,000 partners through the adversity, through the hearsay, the snickers, and controversy, but 15,000 partners in 22 countries. Wait, what the doctor told my mom in 1980 to a 17-year-old woman named Lori Robinson? Get off the abortion table. Your son is going to impact what? Nation. What? Nation. And I represent people in 22 countries. So thoughts become things. Yeah. Nothing is impossible to me. How could it be? In 2012, I was leaving church. My 750 LI got repoed. My friend loaned me $2,500. I went to Maryland to a car auction. Bought a $2,500, 2003 Dodge Intrepid tan with cloth seats. Mind you, my first luxury vehicle, I bought cash off the lot at 19 years old, a Lincoln Navigator in Queens, New York. I've been the luxury guy. But here I am, broken after divorce, after bankrupt, embarrassed, ashamed that I was the one that made it in my family and I blew the money fast. I spent it like it was my last. I thought if I was spend it, I'd get it right back. I was making 70 to 130,000 a month off real estate. So I thought the money would never end until the real estate market crashed. So my lifestyle I created, because my lifestyle wasn't based on cash flow, it was based on earned income. I could earn so much a month, 130 a month at 27 years old, what can I spend? So of course all drinks on me for all y'all all drinks on me. Of course I'm going to Mr. Child's everybody meal on me. Come on, spin it, I'm going to get it right back. I got this. Until I didn't have it no more. All that drove me to my father when I went through the depression in my early 30s. And I prayed on my knees, crying as a grown man like that, like, Father, Dad, like, get me out of this. And so leaving church in Linden, New Jersey, in my 2003 Dodge Intrepid, God said, I was trying to figure out a strategy. I'm working for Southern Beast. I'm on NBC, but I'm not really making a lot of money. And God said, I got a strategy for you. He said, everybody repeat after me. He said, take care of my people, and I'll take care of you. I was like, ooh, you mean black people? <laughs> so my strategy for me to get back to the wealth that I've attained you're telling me to take care of, because that's the vision I had were black people. All people are his children, but the vision I had was Moses leading out of Egypt and there black people behind him. Israelites. It's 2012, I swear. I've been telling the story for like 10 years consistently, the same story. If y'all go to my Instagram and scroll all the way down 2012, you'll see I was posting a Bible verse every morning on my page. This God thing ain't new. They're like, oh, he into God now. No, I've been into God. God been into me. God was into my mother. He had plans for me in my mother's womb. In real life. This is nothing new. So at that time, I'm like, well, how do I impact our people through what I offer, which is financial education? And I wrote out a business plan for Sotheby's, and the business plan had all these different creative kind of classes. I said, I'll teach in churches. I'll teach in all sports teams. I'll go to colleges. I'll go to high schools. I will teach financial literacy at all spectrums of our culture. And so I started a program called Hip Hop to Homeowners with DJ Little Man from North New Jersey. And we went to 30 high schools my first year. I called principals myself. Hi, this is Jay Morrison. I'm trying to do a class. Or hi, this is Bob Dillard, Jay Morrison's public assistant. I was my own publicist, <laughs> booking myself for schools to take care of God's people. Them same students I taught in 2012 in Irvington, New Jersey, in North New Jersey, in Carteret, New Jersey, those same students that were 17 in 2012 are 27 today with multifamilies in real life. Bro, you came to my school when I was in Elizabeth High, like, 
So then as I saw that explode, and I went on a breakfast club and world star hip hop and all that, I got so much influx in 2013, I thought of the idea, how can I teach this to the masses online and not just individual schools? And I found it in 2013 into 2014, the Jay Morrison Academy, which was one of the first financial literacy movements we've seen in the culture. And from Jay Morrison Academy, we began to teach and make wealth education more affordable, accessible, and relatable. And since then, over 500,000 students later, I was a crazy guy online in 2012 and 2013, 2014 who was teaching, before it became cool. I was a guy like, oh, that don't seem right. Why are he selling courses? How many millionaires are today who are selling courses? How much information do we receive from all these people that are able to package their expertise and their gifts and offer them to us at fair value? I saw that early. And I walked into it early. I saw the vision early because thoughts become things. So I fast forward to Credit to Cash Flow Wednesdays. God gave me a vision a few months ago, my partner. And I said, I want to do something different. I didn't want to do it. I had a podcast, and my podcast was dope. How to beat the trap? It's fire. But it wasn't fire in my soul. I had like me and B. Simone episode did millions of views, me and B. Simone. Millions of views. Me and Country Rain, millions of views. But it wasn't fulfilling me to have another podcast. It just wasn't on me. It's like I was doing it because it was like, what you do? And that ain't how Jay Morrison moved. I don't roll with the pack. I lead the pack. Come on. So God put a vision on me. It was like, yo, you need a show. I was like, what kind of show? What kind of show what do I do? How do I empower? How do I, how do I keep taking care of your people? Innovative? Because listen, there's enough course people. We, I, I, that seed was planted. The harvest is there. So I have to go on to the next thing. Right? I can't keep doing the same old thing, my old plays. I have to allow my, 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 my spiritual children to do those plays. I have to grow, right? So anyway, God gave me a vision to do a financial literacy game show. And right now we're starting at Humble Beginnings, small, intimate crowd. Watch where this turns. Watch, watch where this turns into. I promise you, I already got the vision. And when I get a vision, Thoughts become things. I promise you. So my first corner class I did had 13 people outside. Thir no, no, I had 60 in Baltimore, but in Houston we have 13 people outside. So I'm teaching in the street in Houston, Texas, in 100 degree heat. I'm on a corner with a whiteboard looking crazy teaching to 13 people. I never care about the crowd size. I care about the calling and obedience. That's it. Because if I do his work, he's going to bless his work. Yeah. And he's shown me evidence of this throughout my whole entire career. Just do what I say, do, and you're good. So God told me to do this. God also told us to do a giveaway of an acre. People said, no, give this away, give that away, do it this way. I said, no, I know it's my spirit. My wife said, you sure? Why are we building out this whole set? We got I'm telling you, what, you know, what the man say move, I got to move. I don't know why. But I know the results. I didn't bring my, 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 my wealth rag. I'm sorry. That's my, wealth. my wealth rag is actually my book bag. My wealth rag is my book bag. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you all that so you understand my heart, this movement, and also that you're witnessing history right now. You're going to look up on somebody's network somewhere like, yo, I was in the black house when he talked about it. He said his mom in the thing. And... <laughs> yeah. I think franchise everywhere. I'm telling you. Is blessed. So anyway, guys, here's how the game show works. I'm going to teach a short financial literacy lesson on real estate tonight. After that lesson, you guys can take notes on your phone. You can, you know, right? you can ask a couple questions. But after that lesson, we are going to have uh, you guys come compete at a pop quiz at our podium to see who can pass the financial literacy credit to cash flow test. Now, over the last few weeks, we had three winners. Those three winners were already, are already entered into the contest to compete. And we had one student in our credit to cash flow community who also just won. Where's Queen Kristen at? Right there. She won in our community last night. So she's our lotto pick tonight. And I need you guys to give a big round of applause. Um, two very big and important people, two influential people, two people I love, my sisters, they volunteered. They get paid big money to be in places like this. They contributed, they volunteered to add, to add sauce and fire to the movement. 
uh, my sisters B. Simone and Megan Brooks from No For Sure Podcast. Give it up for them, please. <laughs> they will be your celebrity hosts tonight, your celebrity captains, and they each will pick one person from the audience to be on their teams. Those two teams will go head to head in our competition to compete for one acre of land. The winning team will go on to compete against each other for one final game show to choose our winner. And a losing team, they gonna get smoked. <laughs> they gonna get smoked. All right, family, so if you're ready to begin, credit to cash flow, say cash flow. Cash flow. Say it with your chest, cash flow. Cash flow. Say credit. Credit. Two. Two. Cash flow. Cash flow. This side, say credit. Credit. This side, two. Two. This side, cash flow. Cash flow. All right, let's get it. Clap it up. <laughs> All right, guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to give us some game that we can remember for our families, for our last names. We are going to cover real estate 101 tonight. All right? Hopefully this is a better marker. There we go. Oh, wait, which one was that? This one? Yeah. That one I don't need. All right, Real Estate 101 tonight. So let's start this off real quick. First question of the night is, man, what is real estate? What is it? Real estate, or what's called realty, or real property, is simply the land. Everybody say the land. The land. Or the property on the land. All right, so this side right here, you're looking at my credit side tonight. My credit side, this side right here, y'all looking at me? This is my credit side. My credit side makes some noise. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Yeah. This side right here, y'all looking at my cash flow side. My cash flow side makes some noise. Woo! They dusted y'all, so y'all know. They dusted y'all. <laughs> so real estate is simply the land, the earth, the earth itself, and the property above the land. When I say the land, I mean the dirt, the minerals in the dirt, all what produces from the dirt, that's all the land. And the properties we build on the land, commercial properties, hotels, industrial properties, residential properties, tiny home properties, mobile home properties, all the properties. That's real estate, all right? So let's talk about the benefits of real estate. I'm gonna use a house here, but this could be a commercial property, this could be a storage unit, this could be a bunch of things, but most of us start off being a homeowner. For me, um, I learned how to repair my credit while I was on parole in 2002, working for Flexible Benefits Mortgage Company. And as I was repairing my credit, I got pre-approved for a home, and my mom had bought a house. When I came home from prison in 1999, my mom bought a house in Somerville, New Jersey for $100,000, a single-family house in the hood. And she came in one day and said, you know, in the hood they call me Maine. She said, Maine? I'm about to buy this house today, but I need $3,000. I'm asleep. She like, I'm asleep on a mattress at Graham's house. I'm like, Mom, go in the Timberland box in the closet. My mom go in my Timberland box, pull out $3,000, and put it down in our first family house ever. She bought the house for $100,000 in Somerville, New Jersey, and in four years, it went up in value. Everybody say appreciate. Appreciate. It appreciated in value $100,000 in four years. So my mom... As I'm building my credit, going through parole, still in the streets, but learning about mortgages and real estate, my mom was still having trouble in the home. Rest in peace. My stepfather was still struggling with a heroin addiction. Um, so the money was coming in the household. He was functioning. He was working. But as fast as it came in the household, it was going out of the household. And so my mom's like, man, we're in foreclosure right now. We got a tax lien on the property. I'm like, what, what, what's going on? So I'm driving around my hood in a cherry red navigator. Cartier watch, Rolex, all of that. My mom's in foreclosure. I'm like, yo, what kind of a game is that? Not me. I'm not him. So I sold my truck. I sold my truck and I paid my mom's tax lien off in her foreclosure. She said, man, when I sell the house, I got you. I'm going to take care of you. I said, mom, don't worry about it. So we got a realtor. We tried to refinance first. First tried to refinance the house. Refinancing is getting a new mortgage on the house. So when you owe something on a property, right, when you owe a mortgage company, you have debt, you owe a bank, whatever you owe, let's call it we owed 100000 the house was worth at that time 200000 
The difference between what you owe and what it's worth is called equity. Everybody say equity. Equity. All right. So that equity, you can go to the bank and say, hey, bank, I got all this value from the original loan you gave me. I got all this value. I want to tap into that with a new loan and pull out the equity. The cool part about the equity is when you pull out this equity, it's tax free. You don't get taxed on it because it's a loan. You never get taxed on loans. That's why I credit the cash flow. We practice good debt. I'd rather take the debt because I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get taxed on the debt. So my mom couldn't sell the property because she was in foreclosure and her credit had got dinged up. So I said, Mom, oh, she couldn't refinance. So we decided to sell the family's first property. And we sold the property and we made about 90, I think 98,000 or something like that after fees, 93,000, somewhere in there. And my mom said, Maine, for taking care of me, here you go. My mom gave me 33,000. Her tax lien was, that I paid off was $10,000, $12,000. My mom gave me $33,000 off the sale of that property. So much, I'm still selling drugs. I got 30, I just got 30 piece? I'm like, this real estate thing ain't that bad. So you know what I did? I took half more money and I went and bought a half kilo of coke. Real estate ain't that bad. But these bricks know? But these bricks know. I put 200 on that thing, sent it down to Maryland, 700 grams down to Maryland. And on that trip, my transporter got caught with 700 grams and five pounds of weed. Wow. Tiffany Lane. And now I'm panicking with King, my, my stomach in knots. I'm a three-time felon, and my shorty just got caught. I'm breaking all the phones. I'm like, yo, listen, I'm, I'm out of this joint. She didn't tell. We bailed her out the next weekend. We got her a lawyer, and we beat the charge because the cops illegally searched the vehicle. She got no time. We got no time. So, no, no. At that time, I smartened up, and I stopped selling coke, and I started selling heroin. No, my coke, my coke route was hot. So I got with my sex money with a blur douche. You know, I ain't going to say his name, but we got together, and we took over South Tiffin Springfield and 100 and Avon and North. My coke route was busted. I need a new drug. <laughs> Bumpy, right, bumping my head. So after that, I'm on the block one day, and I'm seeing, like, there was some real killers I was with. And I'm in a car with them, and I'm feeling uncomfortable. I'm, I'm the richest guy in the car. I have this big old chain on, big old Diamond J chain on, Cartier watch on, and a killer sitting behind me. Like, bro, bro, they get it done for two bands. Two. It's Nork. So one day I'm on a block and I'm watching them and they hustling, they pants sagging, red flags swinging, guns on them. And I'm on a block, I'm like, yo, boy, you got yourself into something. I'm like, I got more potential than this. Am I a drug dealer or am I a hustler? Because a hustler only can hustle, sell drugs. A drug dealer only can sell drugs. A hustler can hustle, hustle anything. So that's when I walked away from the block and I went full steam into real estate. But that was my journey. So anyway. My mom made this money off our equity when we sold the house, and I used my credit that I was building, and I purchased our family's first single family in Allentown, Pennsylvania, under my name. I bought my mom a house under my name. You know the feeling for a black man from the hood when you buy your mama a house under your name? Man, listen. Can't tell me nothing about my mama a crib. Can't tell me nothing. I made it. Then after that, I went on and I bought my first duplex with four acres of land, 20 Five, 26 years old. And so I bought that first duplex. I was driving up seeing my tenants, and I saw the kids playing. And like, the landlord's here, the landlord's here. And I'm like, man, that's me. And that's when it dawned on me, like, yo, I'm not the landlord. Like, I'm the lord of my land. I'm the big homie. I'm the lord. Like, think about a landlord. Who do we worship? The lord of lords. I'm the landlord. I'm the lord of my land. Right? So I started coming with the Lord of my land. And then what I learned is outside of appreciation in homes, I got my first duplex with Section 8 tenants. You also get the cash flow. Everybody say cash flow. Cash flow. Say passive income. Passive income. So I'm getting the cash flow, the residual income, the rental income. I'm getting the rental income from the property as well, right? 
that I saw the commission the realtor made, the realtor made 13,000 on my purchase. I'm like, I could have did what he did. He showed me the house two times. So I went and got my real estate license. And I already had my mortgage license. And now I'm an investor. Then I started the first, my first LLC, Mr. Real Estate. I'm like, shoot, I'm in, I'm in mortgages. I'm an agent. I'm an investor. I'm Mr. Real Estate. And I started that brand in 2005, early. So benefits of real estate, appreciation, which makes equity. So appreciate, everybody say appreciation. Appreciation. Cash flow. Cash flow. This is how you make money off real estate. Appreciation, cash flow. Also, everybody say air rights. You have the right to build up on your property, the right over the air. You actually own the air over the, I own the air over this building. Not I, we, we, our partners, our fund, our group, we own the air above this property. Now you can't do much with it because the planes is flying over the airport right there, but we still own it until the, you know, the government, they got the airspace. <laughs> but we also own the mineral rights. Everybody say mineral rights. Mineral rights. We own the mineral rights below the property. That's why we have a community garden right there. We feed our community eggplant, kale, collard greens, yellow meat watermelon. Mm. You own the mineral rights. So these are the ways you benefit off real estate. Air rights, mineral rights, appreciation, rental income, and then you get the tax advantages. This is the biggest one as you start making money. Tax advantages. You can write the, the mortgage interest off. You can write the whole property off. You can write the whole investment off. You could, you could force appreciation. It's all kind of fancy terms. So tax advantages, appreciation, rental income, mineral rights, and air rights. Five ways you make cash flow on real estate. All that, right? All that value. So we talk about what real estate is, ways you can make money off real estate, and the rental income. Now, our program is called Credit to Cash Flow. All right? Because we know that in America is the only country you can use your credit, a made-up system, and go get cash from the bank. Every other country got to just work and save. We can literally manipulate our credit scores and go get $25,000 tomorrow. And do it under our LLC and get no debt on our personal credit. It's an amazing thing we got to take advantage of before these banks crash and a dollar crashes. So let's talk about rental income in a second because our thing is not a credit program, it's a cash flow program. But what I want to do is, I want you guys to say, this is going to be your side. Y'all two words are going to be rebuilt. Say rebuilt. Rebuilt. Say repaired. Repaired. Those are your two words. First one is what? Rebuilt. Second one? Repaired. Okay. Y'all two words. Restored. Restored. And recycled. Recycled. Restored. Restored. And recycled. And recycled. That's y'all words. Got it? All right, don't let me down. It's credit to cash flow live. All right. So, everybody together say, all credit, all credit. can be, be. No, not everybody, just y'all, one of y'all. We're going to practice. <laughs> I'm going to say can be, and then y'all going to say y'all first word. Y'all going to say the second, y'all first word. I'm going to come back to y'all, going to say y'all second word. I'm going to come back to y'all, going to say y'all second word. All right? It's like a symphony. Feel me? I'm the maestro. All right? So, y'all ain't got to repeat after me. I just want y'all words. I'll make it easy. Okay. All right? So, I'll point to you to say your word, your first word. I'll point to you again, say your second word. Everybody got it? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Good. All right. So, guys, my philosophy is all credit can be repaired. <laughs> Rebuilt is the first word. <laughs> Come on, team. All right, all right. One more time. Y'all first word is? Rebuilt. Y'all second word is? Repaired. Y'all first word is? And recycled. All right, did you finish that sentence for me? All right, here is my philosophy, guys. All credit can be rebuilt, restored, repaired, and recycled. All right, all credit can be rebuilt, restored, repaired, and recycled. So no matter where you're at in your credit life, your journey, judgment, bankruptcy, public records, 800 credit score, you might drop one day, who knows? But it always can be repaired, restored, rebuilt, recycled. We use that credit to go into the banks and to go buy cash flow. That's our goal, to go into the banks and buy cash flow. So, when you're getting rental income, right, so I'm gonna draw my arrow over here, rental income. If you're making $1,000 a month in rental income, here are some of the expenses you gotta be up against though. You're gonna have anywhere from an eight to 10% property management fee. 
right? That's one of your fees, eight to ten percent, which would be eight hundred. Excuse me, eighty dollars to a hundred. Uh, uh, eighty dollars to a hundred dollars a month of rental property management fee. You're gonna have your taxes. You gotta pay your property taxes. You're gonna have insurance on the property. You're gonna have utilities on the property. Yeah, I'm spelling it all wrong. And you have maintenance on the property. So everybody say property management. Property management. Say taxes. taxes. Insurance. insurance. Utilities. utilities. And maintenance. maintenance. So after your rental income, you've got to pay these fees. And if you have a mortgage, you've got to pay that mortgage. So we're talking about cash flow. There's gross cash flow. Gross is everything. Like Whenever you hear the term gross revenue, gross cash, gross net worth, gross means everything. Think of like somebody throwing up, throwing up everything. Ugh, it's gross. Oh, it's how I teach. I'm a wealth translator. Here's the difference between gross revenue and net revenue. Gross revenue is somebody throwing up everything. It's all your expenses. It's all your revenue. It's all the cash you made. It's all your net worth. That's gross. It's everything. It's gross. Net revenue is what you catch in the net after all expenses are paid. Oh. Net is what's left over. So your gross revenue of cash flow is 1000 a month, but after your expenses, which might be 600 a month, your net cash flow might be 400 a month. Your net cash flow, what's left over after the expenses in your net. Right? This is why we want to make wealth education more affordable, more relatable, more accessible. All right? So these are some of the benefits of real estate. Let me make sure I got my tops here. Got it. Got it. OK, one more. Boom. Great. Got it. Here we go. I just lost it. I got it and I lost it. OK, there we go. All right. So we talked about, can you guys tell me, anybody in the audience, what makes equity happen or appreciation happen? By spending money, upgrading the house. Anybody else? That's true. Yes. Go ahead. The upgrade of the community, like stores and all that. Upgrade the community, stores, et cetera. That could do it. That already has like an earned equity in it as well. You could buy, but yeah, what causes it though? When you put a bulk of money inside. So one thing that causes equity, right, is what we call value add or forcing the value, right? Forcing the value is basically repairs, maintenance, things you do to the property you force to make it go up, right? So force value. That's one thing. Another thing that causes equity, everybody say time. time. Just time. That property my mom and I owned in the hood, we did nothing to it. We never repaired it. Ain't even painted. We cleaned it and moved in. But because supply and demand, that we're living longer, half of us are vegans now, we're taking more pills, making more babies, but still the same amount of land as it was 10,000 years ago. So same land, way more people. Supply and demand. Prices go up. So time causes equity. And the next one is everybody say pay down. Yeah. Say pay down. Pay down. Principal pay down. As you pay your mortgage down and pay your loan down, remember, Equity is the difference between what you owe and what it's worth. So as you pay your mortgage down, you owe less. So as you owe less, you create more equity. So principal pay down is another way you create equity, just by paying your loan off. You can add an extra mortgage payment every year and chip away at years of your mortgage payment. Always pay towards the principal, not the interest. Right? These are ways you can create and force equity. So with all that being said, this is your real estate crash course for tonight. Give it up for yourselves. Did y'all learn something today? Yes. If you learned something today, say cash flow. Cash flow. If you learned something today, say cash flow. Cash flow. All right, any questions? I'm gonna take two questions. Any questions? Perfect, let's go. All right, now time for the game show. All right. All right, guys, so what we're going to do first 
is uh, I'm going to introduce our celebrity captains tonight. And after our celebrity captains, I'm going to introduce our four contestants who have already won the last few weeks in our student community lotto pick, right? If anyone watching online or in the room wants to be in our student community, you guys can go to C to C, it's a letter C, number two, C to C testgroup.com. We have a 30 day test group. Where we're going to mentor you for 30 days on either real estate, credit repair, or personal funding. You can pick one of, the, one of the three tracks. It's a new test group we're doing. We're trying something different. 30 day test group of mentorship. C, the letter C, I know crypt now. C, 2C, testgroup.com. The B in our program. Now, we're going to pick our student who won from our community. She's going to be up. We're going to introduce those guests. And then our celebrity captains are going to pick one person from, or two people from the audience to play the game tonight and have a chance to win one acre of land free and clear. That sound good? All right. So before we bring our celebrity captains up, we got to warm this stage up, this set up a little bit for them so you know where we're going to go with it. We're going to start our love. So on the foundation first. It's like six of y'all on oh, different, different accords. This is like, this is like, okay, 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 uh-huh, all right, all right, what, huh, yeah, all right, all right, introducing from the Know For Sure podcast, my sisters, our celebrity captains tonight, the queens, B. Simone and Megan Brooks, give it up for her. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh, uh. Welcome to the game show. Hey, y'all. Hey. Right. I hope y'all were right. paying attention. Yeah. Somebody going to win and somebody getting smoked. <laughs> All right. So, um, Queen B. Yes. Uh, tell everyone who you are, Ooh, what you do, what you get into. <laughs> Tell everyone what equity is. What's <laughs> <laughs> um, appreciation? No. Uh, uh-uh. When it go up. Come on, come on, come on. Entrepreneur extraordinaire. What? what I'm an entrepreneur, about. stand-up comedian, um, co-host of the No For Sure podcast, one half of the No For Sure podcast. And yeah, a full-round entertainer. And yeah, Big B, Big B. Yeah. All uh, right, give it up for Queen B. Big B, 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 some more. All right. Yeah. Sis, what's up? Talk to him, Queen Meg. I'm Megan Ashley. I'm also the co-host of No For Sure Podcast. I'm a mother of three incredible boys. And yeah. And you fly. She's a Thank boy you. mom. I'm She's a boy, boy mom. Tell I'm, a boy a boy mom. mom. <laughs> I'm trying to get a boy around here, somebody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yes. I am. <laughs> Legacy. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So we'll start the game. So now. I want to call up um, who are our winners who won the previous weeks in our student lotto pick. Can you guys stand up, please? Yeah. Give it up for them. Yeah. I'm going to ask you guys to come to the stage, please, with us. I don't know how we split this up. I don't know how we do this. It's two of y'all. Matter of fact, you know what? Yes. Go, go there. Boom. There you boom. go. Boom. Boom. Do boom. we need to go back here? Yes. So you guys go behind your contestant oh, okay. stands? Okay. Sure. Are we, Wait, yeah, y'all right there. You're right there. You're right there. You're right there. You're right there. Y'all right cool. 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 nervous. Good. You're good. Okay. This, this. Okay. You're right here. Right. This is you, you get the, the big daddy go. All right. So, so you're nervous. You perform in front of 30,000 people in a stadium, and you're nervous about current cash. Not about real estate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I borrow your mic for a second? Yes. All right. Uh, King, can you please tell everyone what's your name, where you from, and what your credit to cash flow experience has been like? It's Kenneth Gatlin from Harlem, New York, and um, it's been good, man. You know, like uh, I learned a lot of things. You know, um, got a hundred thousand dollars worth of funding within, you know, the first month. Um, about to close on the property soon, so you know, um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's wait, been wait, good. wait, wait, about to what soon? Uh, about to close on the property soon, so you know, oh, okay. Waiting for that to happen, yeah. Um, and this is just from you know, obviously being around the right people, man. So it's important to be to get in the room, you know, um, take you know, take that risk in yourself, man. You know, um. It is definitely going to be, um, the journey has been good, but the journey for everybody else is going to be great, man. You know, just believe in yourself, you know. Uh, so um, just, I want to say, um, it's about faith, man. You know, like, y'all got to walk in your destiny. So y'all going to be the one that's going to change your future, man. So um, 
get, get in the, um, the program. That's what I would actually advise, so, you know. Love it, love it, love it. All right, boss queen with the fan, I understand. We got AC, but we want to keep it low so the audio is good, but it's all, we, we good. Go ahead. My name is Venetia Cannon. I'm from California originally. Woo -woo. I've been here in Georgia now for 20 years. I've had a lot of things happen in my life. I won't go into all of those things, but I will say that I am blessed. I do manifest. Uh. You're looking at the next winner of that acre of land. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Okay, and I'm going to pass the mic to my Captain. All right, all right. Yeah. Captain. All right. She's she manifesting. Talk, she, she, your mic, please. She's talking all that all right. stuff. We better wait. Queen, please tell them where you're from and what your CDC experience has been like. Okay. My name is Kristen. I'm actually from Atlanta. Um, I am in, uh, yeah, woo, -woo. Uh, I am a part of the Credits to Cash Flow um, Mentorship Program. And honestly, I'm speechless about it. I really don't know how to put it into words, but um, just the knowledge that's given, I honestly feel like this is something you can't get anywhere else, not even in college, you know. So the value that they're putting back into the community, especially for you to be able to share with others, you can't put a dollar amount on that. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. Good luck tonight. God bless you. Right. Oh, I also want to say one more thing. I'm sorry. Talk that I talk. Go ahead. I, I came across King J's Instagram page. I want to say it was 2017. And when I a first encounter your energy just through your profile. One word came to mind, which was proximity. Mm. I wanted to be as close to you via social media as possible. And so to be here, what, five years or whatever later, so it means a lot to me. It means obedience. So thank you. Thank you, Queen. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> God is good. Queen, please. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ashina Johnson. I live in Atlanta now, but I came here by way of Jersey City, New Jersey. Jersey! <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and I am part of the mentorship. I'm in the credit repair phase right now, and just by following even the beginning steps, I'm starting to see results, so I'm very appreciative. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, give it up for our, our, our contestant winners. All right, so now is the big part. That's for you all who came out tonight, because we have a saying here, if you don't show up, it won't show up. If you don't show up, it won't show up. If you don't show up, it won't show up. If you don't show up, he won't show up. You gotta be in the room. So tonight, y'all are in the room. Two of you will get a chance to compete on these teams and have your chance for your family to inherit one acre of land free and clear. All right, we got the deed in the building. The deed to the land is in the building. All right. Okay. All right. So, um, my captains, to the front real quick, please, if you don't mind, my right. captains. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to ask you guys to stand up and make some noise because their spirits got to feel somebody, and each of them is going to pick one person who's going to have this opportunity. So I would suggest you follow your heart right now. Right. You follow your spirit right now. Cause they gotta select somebody. Oh cash flow, 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 cash flow. All right, Jesus. all right, all right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the person that always cheat in spades against me. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go to the chat. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to mess up your show. Don't do that. I, I family business. Don't do my that. Bad. All right, all right. I'm gonna go to Megan Brooks first. You're going to get the first pick tonight for your team, for somebody to join Woo. you for their chance to win one acre land queen. What's Do I have to go on this side, or does it matter? Anywhere you want to go. Oh, my gosh. Don't make me choose. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to be on Megan Brooks' team? Make some noise! I'm going to go with this guy right here because he's the first guy I saw, and we need a male on our team. So All right! <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so. All right, make some noise if you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see all the valedictorians right. in the uh -huh. house. <laughs> I'm going to go with you. Yeah. Oh, front row pick. Hey. Front I'm going go with you. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go with you. I like your right, style. All right, give it up for It's that simple. All right, let's go. All right, family. We're going to get this you're thing popping. All right, so again, fam, here's how it works. We're going to start at our ends. When I call you from the ends, you're going to come to the contestant stand, to the podium. I'm going to ask you a question. 
Oh. Uh, you, you get anxiety? For sure. Why do you get anxiety? <laughs> Something oh about, my God! That's about stand up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first two kings on the end. Can you stand up to, to the uh, contestant stand, please? Woo! Woo! All right, all right, all right. You can speak it to the mic. Can you tell me your name, where you're from? Um, my name is Anthony, and I'm from Tampa, Florida, but I came from Jacksonville, Florida. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. You came from Jacksonville, Florida? Yeah. Oh. What you mean you came tonight from Jacksonville, Florida? Yeah. Wow. Wait, wait. You mean you drove from Jacksonville, Florida? Yeah. yeah. If, 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 if you don't show up, it don't, it show, don't up. show up. You know what I mean? yeah. 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 They came from Jacksonville, Florida. You got to show up, too, you feel me? You got to show up, too. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay, can you have some energy against you, huh? Uh, I ain't too worried. I'm blessed uh, either way. Uh, you good. That, that's that posture. I ain't, I'm blessed either way. <laughs> What's your name? Where you from, Ken? I'm Miles, Miles Doherty from Marietta, Georgia. Uh, yeah, I've been following you for a while, so I, I've been at many events. Uh, you have a King Miles. So we got Georgia in the building. We got Jacksonville in the building. We got I'm blessed because I showed up. He going to show up. And I'm blessed either way. Uh, okay, let's get it. All right. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, I'm glowing over here. I'm glowing. All right. First question of the night. Here's how it works, Kings. If I ask a question, you hit the buzzer. The question stops. I'm not, I did not finish the question. So you have to answer based on what you have. Okay. So be careful about hitting the buzzer, buzzer too fast. Mm -hmm. Whoever hits the buzzer first gets to answer the question. If you get it right, your team gains 100 points. If you get it wrong, your team will lose 100 points. All right? So you automatically lose 100 points if you get it wrong. And the other team will get a chance to answer just for education. There's no points involved. All right? So be careful about how fast you hit the buzzer. Um, and the questions will begin. The answer doesn't, you don't give out the answer until both of us answer, right? Or yeah, I'll know. I will give out the answer, yes. Whoever gets it wrong or wrong, if you get it right, okay. we, we give it out. If you get the question wrong, we'll ask for educational purposes what the answer is. Okay. And then if you don't, no one knows it, then I'll do my thing. Yeah, I cover my cards up. <laughs> cover my cards up, Spain style. <laughs> Joker, Joker, Deuce. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. All right, either. all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, first question of the night. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get started, before we get started, cash flow, 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 cash flow. And the first question is, all right, what are the five ways? Real estate can bring you cash flow. You got appreciation, rental cash. You, got, you get cash flow from rental income, uh, appreciation, cash flow. Uh, hold on, dang it, it was oh, the way I get money. Uh, damn, Five on, ways no. real estate can produce it's, money for uh, you. Forced appreciation, cash flow from rental income. Ten, uh, nine, eight, eight seven. Six, five, three, four, three, two, one. All right, four. Y'all lost 100 points. Sorry, guys. Cash flow team, credit side. You guys are already up. For educational purposes, nothing on the line here. Do you know the five ways you can get cash flow or income from real estate? We discussed. I believe um, it's rental insurance. I mean, not rental insurance. Um, rental income, uh, appreciation. Um, equity. Um, I want to say mortgage. Uh, right. No, aha. <laughs> guys, I told That's you guys. Enough. Everybody in the room say equity. 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 Rental income. Rental income. Air rights. Air rights. Oh, middle rights. Right. And, right. and tax advantages. Tax advantages. Oh. All right, give it up for our contestants today. Oh. All right. All right. Those are five economic benefits to real estate. <laughs> One more time. Equity. 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 Rental income. Rental income. Air rights. Air rights. Mental rights. Mental rights. And tax advantages. Tax advantages. All right. So right now, cash flow team is down 100 points. Credit team, you guys are winning with zero points. <laughs> Give it up for our teams. <laughs> All right. Next contestants from the middle are two students, Kristen and Kenneth. 
Go ahead, your head. Okay. Listen, listen. Uh, both these, these students of ours bring amazing energy every time. They show up all the time. Both of y'all keep showing up. You got picked last night for showing up or two nights ago. You've been giving testimonials week after week, putting up everything. Listen, let's go. Right. Let's go. Right, let's right. go. Love y'all both. But somebody got to win. Come on, credit. All right. I might have to go something harder for y'all. I might have to go something harder <laughs> for y'all. All right, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, give me the three ways you create equity. The three ways you create equity is you force it by um, you force it by putting enough money inside of it so the price goes up. Um, no, well, let me take that back. Okay, so one of the reasons is you actually do renovation inside of it, so you build up the property. The next one is is that you put enough money in the property. Ask that question again. <laughs> run that back, run that back. Think. Three ways you can, three ways you cause equity. 10, okay. Okay. nine, okay. eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And yeah, all right. Credit team loses 100 points. The game is tied. I like those King Kristen now, for educational purposes, nothing on the line. <laughs> Let's see if you're paying attention tonight. Three ways that we can create equity. Mm -mm. Let me in. Uh-oh. I only uh, know. Uh, go, go, go ahead. Be, go ahead. Be on there. Be on there. Be. Time. Okay. Uh, time. Uh, uh, That's crazy. That's all I know. That's all you got. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Megan Ashley, he threw me off. He threw me off. He threw me off. Notes. Is is one of the ways paying on the principal? Yes, oh. principal pay down. <laughs> yes. Three ways we create equity in our homes, right? We're gonna everyone say forced appreciation. Forced, forced appreciation. appreciation. That's the renovation, guys. Yeah. yeah. We got that one. We all got that one. Yeah. Time. 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 And pay down. Pay down. All right, that's how we create equity: is paying down mortgages, time, or forcing the value. All right, get up our contestants. We have a tie game. All right, tell you. This is getting good. All right, next up. Hey, you got it. Okay. Come on, we need it now. Two more of our students. That's right, Queen the Queen. Bless the blessed. All right. Ooh. All right. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. All right, remember, here's the rules. First one hit the buzzer, gets a chance to answer. If you get the answer wrong, your team loses 100 points, and you will lose the tie. We have one more round coming, which is worth 300 points, though. Right. So anyone can win this game. But on this round, if you get it wrong, you lose. If you, if you get it right, you gain. All right? First one hit the buzzer. All right, Queens. Be quick with it, but not too quick. <laughs> All right. What is real estate? Oh, oh she's done. No. She hit it first. You got it. She hit it first. What is real estate? What is real estate? Ownership of property, land, land, the property. Uh, uh, that is it. That is it. <laughs> Give it up for her. Like, okay, no, you, you won. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Clap it up, everybody, real quick for our bonus round. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Here you go, here you go, you got it down. Okay, all right. Cash flow team is down 100 points. Credit team, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Y'all got zero, but y'all winning. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, guys, listen, this next round is worth 300 points. So whoever wins this bonus question, Ernestine is like, <laughs> <laughs> whoever wins this bonus question will win the game, and their team will have the opportunity to go head-to-head -head for one acre 
Oh man, let's go! Alright, so captains, I need you guys to huddle up with your teams. Oh, that's it. <laughs> captains, in this bonus round, you all can go, or you can select somebody from your team to go. You guys huddle up, guys, and we're gonna give them some time to huddle up. Cash flow, 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 cash flow. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, beat some all your teams up. Let's go. So I'm gonna ask my captains. Queen B, who are you selecting from your team to play the bonus round for 300 points? The girl that knew something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's going to go. All she's right, gonna Queen, go. come to the contestant stand. <laughs> Meg and Ashley, Queen Meg, who are you selecting to go up? This lovely queen right here, Sheena, right? Let's queen go, Sheena. let's go. Sheena, all right. Oh, it's a, it's a, re, it's a rematch. <laughs> it's a rematch. Okay, she got it. She got it last time. I know that's right, girl. Don't. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, you early. You Wait, hold on. How'd it happen? You're hot with it. Let me make sure it works. <laughs> All right, family. Here's how it's going. Don't try. All right, family. These are two of our present cash flow students, C to C community playing for the final bonus round to win and go head to head against your teammates for one acre of land. So if y'all win, you win the runnings for one acre for your family. Let's go. If you lose, you, 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 you get smoked. Oh, yeah. You get smoked. What, what, what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bonus round question. Everybody say bonus round. Bonus round. All right, worth 300 points. Bonus question. Name at least four of the cost or fees that take away from your Let's go. Maintenance, property management, insurance, and taxes. Y'all yeah. 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 right there, y'all stay right there. I ain't even finished the question. I ain't even finished the question. All right, all right. Dean. Is there really a smoke machine? Yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're about to get smoked. All right, B Simone, thank you for coming out tonight. <laughs> B Simone team, oh my God. team credit to the stage, please. No. We I have to stand in front of I these. I need you right here. <laughs> I need you right here. <laughs> Jacksonville, you stand in front of You <laughs> and Kenny right still here. I'm standing on that. Actually, Listen, guys. You get up there. <laughs> no, no, I, I need, I, I need her. I need to remember this moment. No, I remember that. Listen, <laughs> guys, we believe in tough love here at the Legacy Center. Yes. We love a tough love. Tough love. Is this and, all right and, now? And, don't and, put and, it and on listen, full throttle. <laughs> y'all lost tonight, and I need y'all to remember this night for the rest of your lives. All right. Wow. I need it to sting. <laughs> so, guys, I need your help with all your checks. <laughs> Like the Montgomery this Brawl. This is so messed up. I want you to throw your hat in the air when you do it. All right? I want you to throw wow. it in the air. And I want everybody on three to say, you got smoked with all your chest. I want B. Simone to dream of this tonight. Oh, my gosh. You got smoked on three. You got to throw your hat in the air. Oh, all right. my gosh. One. I'm pushing you to the front. Two. You three. Got you got smoked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a seat. Have a seat. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Good job. Thank you. To our winning team, to the front of the state. <laughs> Take your smoke with Congratulations. you. Congratulations. All right, to our winning team, to the front. Clap it up, clap it up. All right, uh, Queen Megan Ashley. Yes, sir. You get to be a part of this. Jesus. Yeah. Everybody gets to go with this. You guys won. Strategically together, you all won and you beat team credit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put an image on the screen of a rental property here in Atlanta. 
and you guys are gonna guess how much rental income that property gets per month. The person that get the closest to that monthly rental income without going over, that person will win one acre of land. All right, there's your property. Right there, in Atlanta, four bedroom, two bath, 1,170 sure, square check feet. The zip code. Four, bedrooms. four bedrooms, two baths. 1,100 square feet. So y'all study that? Let's give them a 10-second ten, countdown, guys. 10, Wait, who are 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, everyone's going to do it. You guys are going to guess again. Whoever gets the closest without going over will win the one acre of land. Nope, you're going to say it. No writing it down tonight. You're going to say it. And whoever gets the closest, Queen Meg, I'm going to start with you. What? All of them get to get their land. Everybody gets one answer. So I could win. Oh, we got to go. Through. Oh, that's great. Everyone, everyone takes their own guess. And the person who's closest, including your team captain, will go home with the acre of land. But if we don't write it down, the person can just go $1 up from Well, you get closer than you can get. Or you go $1 down. Yeah. Doesn't mean they're right, though. Doesn't mean they're right. It's how we doing it. It's how we doing it. All right. Get as close as you can. All right. I'm going to say, so. How much month? Hold on, y'all. Quiet on set. Go, go, guys. Quiet on set. All right. So, Queen Megan Ashley, No For Sure Podcast, Celebrity Captain winner tonight. How much monthly rental income does this property produce in a month? Not how much, okay, so ask the question. Again. How much rental income? How much is the rent? How much is the rent? Okay, I wanna say, I know, I don't know the zip code, I'm not from here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say a month. Yes. I don't know. 1750? All right, give it up for the Megan. Megan Ashley, 1750. 70, 1751. 1750. Oh, 1750. 1750. That's how they do it on the prices, right? Right? It's like a dollar above. 1750. All right, you see the mic, All right, Queen, your turn. What's your name again? Sheena. Queen Sheena. What's your answer, Queen Megan, 1750? Twenty-nine fifty. Twenty-nine fifty. Okay, give it up for her. Twenty-nine fifty. Okay. All right, Queen Kristen. Rental income a month. I'm gonna go with um, eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. All right. So we got seventeen fifty. We got twenty-nine hundred, and we got eighteen hundred. Okay. All right. All right. All right, King. Take the high I'm just gonna say it's a little 2100. You're gonna say 2100. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, huh? So, look, Ernestine Morrison has the answer of how much rental income this property gets per month here in Atlanta four bedrooms, two baths, 1170 square feet. And the answer is the answer for this property. Is sixteen ninety four per month. Sixteen ninety four. Megan Ashley was the closest guest. That is crazy. Because I, 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 the house that I have, I just because I just moved out of a house, so that's why I knew that. Because I've been looking at rental property. Per month. That's crazy. Wow! Give it up for Queen Meg. Stay here, Queen Meg. Congrats, Queen. Thank you all for making the final round. Thank you. Peace, King. Thank you. You can have a seat. Have a seat. Queen Meg, stay here, please. Have a seat, y'all. All right, you can hold that mic. Man, we say... You're like, I didn't want you to win. I wanted somebody else to win. We say... We say if you don't show up, it don't show up.
You guys had a full set today. You had a lot going on today. You guys did a podcast today, but you still showed up. Yeah, of yeah. course. We love you guys. Of course you show up. And that love got reciprocated tonight. <laughs> Listen, I want to shout out our whole student community, guys. Um, shout out to uh, Queen B, Queen Meg. No for short podcast, you guys coming out. I don't know it's going to end like this, but hey, listen, either. God know what he's doing for you and your boys. We got to make an announcement, though. This was not rigged. At all. Oh. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> and depending <laughs> where the property is, I might give it away. Because I, I'm like, I don't listen. know where it's at. So, yeah, this property, you can donate it. You can flip it and get the cash. You can build on it. You can grow on it. Wow. Glamp on it. Wow. Whatever you want to do is yours. It's for you and the boys. Your family. Uh oh. Oh. No mortgage. No payments. Free and clear deed for you and your last name, Queen Meg. Wow. Thank you. Megan Ashley, thank you for showing up tonight. Crazy. We're going to transfer this deed over to you and your family, wow. and you guys get to do with it whatever you like. That's wow. crazy. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Give it up for her. So tell us where you have a seat. Tell us, what does that mean for you to win an acre of land? Um, you know what? It's a pretty big deal. I'm newly single, so I'm a single mom now, and I left that marriage with nothing. Um, and so this would be like a huge beginning for me and my boys. Wow. So I'm gonna be yeah. My God, <laughs> your God. One more time, y'all, give it up. Cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, cash flow. All right, all right, you are guys. Ridiculous. Why is she crying? All right, Augustine's over there crying. She's crying. She's crying. So, Queen Meg, you can have a seat. Thank yeah, you okay. so much. Thank Appreciate you, thank you, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Listen, fam, I got a big announcement to make uh, for everyone that's watching on live. Share this now. Share this now. I need you guys to spread this word. So, um, my partner, Energy, uh, we were doing some last-minute stuff. God put it on our heart of what our next big giveaway was going to be. So, we're not doing this every week. Every week, we're going to do a webinar in September. We're going to teach you a high-level game, right? We want you guys to join our community. But on September 27th will be the next game show, the last Wednesday of September, right? So to be eligible for this game show, you have to be in our student community or in our test group. And it's like no barrier entry, right? So anyone can join it, literally, like anyone can join it. So it's c2cTestGroup.com. I need my social media team to put it in the chats, please. The letter C, number two, C, testgroup.com. Tell all your family and friends to join. That's the only way you'll be eligible to play on September 27th, we're going to be giving away a cash flowing car. Wow. We are giving away a car you can rent out on Toro, Uber, drive to work, whatever. On the 27th, we'll be giving away a cash flowing car, free and clear, for the winner of Credit to Cash Live. Give it up for that, real quick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just feel like the, the, the love was, we're giving away a free car. Give away a free car. So tonight's the acre of land, September 27th, it'll be a free car. The way to become eligible is you have to be in the building on September 27th, you have to be here. But you have to be someone that's here that's also in our test group or one of our communities. It's c2ctestgroup.com. Anyone in the world can afford it, right? It's no barrier entry. It's something for you guys to take advantage of right now. So I'm looking forward to the next big giveaway. I hope you all learned something tonight. Yeah. Uh, my partner Energy actually is on the way from the dealership right now. It's an electric car. Wow. It's green friendly. No you could tour it out. The car gets about $50 a day on Toro if you rent it out. Wow. It could earn you $1,000 gross. Uh, <laughs> or $800 net after insurance. Wow. So if you have a bill at home, a mortgage, a student loan, and you need an extra vehicle to put on the road to give you some income, you might want to get in a test group with the community and show up on September 27th to win a free car, free and clear. You could sell it and flip it if you want. You could rent it out, we, we suppose, get cash flow, or just drive it to work or your entrepreneur job or whatever it is you do. But September 27th, 
the Legacy Center, credit to cash flow, and our family will be giving away a car free and clear. Tonight, we just gave away an acre of land free and clear. <laughs> Revolutionizing financial literacy and how we learn and how we network. Guys, there's food downstairs in our cafe area. I suggest you all find someone tonight you can network with, get a new number, a new contact. But keep in mind, financial freedom only comes when you get enough passive income. Everybody say cash flow. Cash flow. When you get enough cash flow coming in your household that it covers your lifestyle and your bills. It's not your earned income. You could be rich. But if you can't stop working today and maintain your staying lifestyle, you're not financially free. You got to make the money work for you in a way to, okay, if my lifestyle is 7,000 a month, I need that much cash flow. So if that car could get me eight to 800 a month, that Toro car we're giving away next week, next month, and my lifestyle's 8,000 a month, I need 10 of those cars on the road to make me financially free. Yeah. Or rental property or whatever it is. It could be 4,000 a month. If you're balling and your lifestyle's 30,000 a month, you need that much passive income to keep balling for the rest of your life without saying, hey guys, come to my next thing. Yeah. You need passive income, residual income, mailbox money in order to get free. Yeah. With that free freedom, can't nobody cancel you. They can cancel you because of your religion or your, your spiritual preferences, your politics, your whatever. You can say what you want to say, be who you want to be. No, you can say what God tells you to say, be who God, God calls you to be without apprehension because you're free free. I am not financially free. My wife and I, were not financially free. We're working on it. We do well, but we're not free. This is transparency. I want to be free too. They always try to cancel me. You know what I'm saying? This is a priority for all of us. So I want to encourage you guys, don't just have fun here. Apply the principles. Apply the lessons. Anyone can build their credit. Anyone can use their credit to go to the banks. We show you how to do it strategically, though. Not willy-nilly, I guess, I think I might get approved. We show you how to guarantee approvals, how to do it where the debt doesn't go on your personal income, it goes on your business, your, uh, your personal credit score, but your business credit score, and then how to multiply and scale that to go buy cash flow, not bags. All right? So, guys, I thank you all for entertaining us for the last four weeks, this new crazy idea. Thank you all for participating. Thank you to my team, my staff, my production team, my wife, King Eugene. Clap it up. Everybody stand up, please. Stand up and turn around to my production team, please. Our partners, King Energy. Give it up for these guys. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. All right. And one more time for No For Short Podcast. Give it up for them. All right. So check my guys, check your emails, check your texts. We'll be giving out information on our next, uh, next week's webinar. We're doing a webinar next week on how to use your 401k to buy businesses through the SBA, right? 5% down, you can buy businesses right now. You can buy a million dollar business for $50,000 down. We're gonna show you how to use your 401k to go buy cash flow assets on a webinar. Be ready for the C2C September 27th, free car giveaway. You gotta join c2ctestgroup.com to do that. Be in the program. Now let's end with a bang. Let's start low real quick. Cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, cash flow. Until next time, we'll see you again September 27th. Right into Cash Flow Live! Oh, no. Good job, man.